right, so welcome. We're about to go do some shopping at Aldi. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. Before we get started, I feel kind of bad because I was walking up to the store and this lady had just got finished putting up her groceries and I was like, I'll take it. And she looked at me funny and I was like, why is she looking at me funny? Because, you know, I never get a basket at Aldi or Lidl and I don't even know how this thing works. Oh, okay. So that's how it is. So you stick your quarter in there. I'm going to have to show you guys this. This is amazing. At this store, you stick your quarter in and it unlocks the little theme of Biggie. So anyway, that's it. All right. So I was walking up and this lady was putting her groceries in her truck and she was getting ready to leave so i was like i'll take it i'll take it and she looked at me strange right because i honestly i did not realize that you had to pay to use a little shopping cart it's not paying you just you're renting it i guess so here at aldi that's how they do things let me take a picture aldi thing okay so i guess that's how they do it up here and i never knew that because i normally walk in grab what I'm gonna get and get out of there so learn something new tonight I hope I didn't offend that lady and then when I when I discovered it, I was like oh I'm sorry you need to get your quarterback she was like that's okay I guess I I guess I had mugged her for her basket so anyway catch me on the inside severe here this is a kind of food poisoning that can kill you symptoms include weakness double vision dizziness contaminated products sold between march and september of this year virginia is one of 23 states impacted by this so if you have this kitchen in your kitchen uh get in touch with the store where you bought it and get your money back right away 650 now all right let's travel back here to the morgue and see what death has in store for us Ooh, spooky. All right, as you can see, they got baloney, and I don't even know what that's called. I guess that's oh, that's some kind of pork. Beware, pork, pork you're getting. All right, let's see here. I want. All right, so salmon had a recall. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, or heard that or not. Here's beef. Um, not too many packs of ground beef here. All right. And then let's see what chicken is. Okay, beef is $4.29, $3.89. Chicken, $1.29, $2.49 for breasts. Got to sell on whatever that is down there, breasts, big packs. 99 cents for drum drumsticks. And chicken thighs 99 cents okay Severe here. This is a kind of food poisoning that can kill you. Symptoms include weakness, double vision, dizziness, contaminated products sold between March and September of this year. Virginia is one of 23 states impacted by this. So if you have this kitchen in your kitchen, uh, get in touch with the store where you bought it and get your money back right away. 6:50 now. So we are. We have decided to break fast. It has been four days. Okay. Just so you guys know. And. Um, whew, yeah, it's gonna feel good to eat. I was Jennifer here so she could pick some avocados for me because these avocados look old and they're really soft. I can't find a firm one anywhere. She makes the best guacamole, y'all. And um, we're gonna break fast. I'm probably gonna break fast tonight, eat tomorrow, and then go back in. I can't do it this this weekend. I got too much going on. Um, but I'm probably going to go back into a fast next Monday. Just so you guys know. But tonight we are eating. And it's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, you see the price of canned fruits. 95, 95, 95. Oh, I don't have any pears. Okay, so we're going to grab a couple, pear, a couple can of pears. That would be good stock. Still in Aldi. And as you can tell, this is the canned goods section it's not that large um, as a matter of fact I've never seen it I've never seen the chip um, be more or bigger than the canned food section so beware look here guys turkeys $1.99 87 cents amazing oh they even got them on the other side look at that hams for your pleasure for your heart 
clogging, artery clogging, heart stopping pleasure. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm trying to find me a pie. I want a pie, but it looks like I'm going to have to go to another store to get a pie. Okay, no problem. We'll go to another store. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the entertainment that you're getting right here on Plant-Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, so I was walking up, and this lady was putting her groceries in her truck, and she was getting ready to leave. So I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. And she looked at me strange, right? Because I honestly, I did not realize that you had to pay to use a little shopping cart. It's not paying. You just, you're renting it, I guess. So here at Aldi, that's how they do things. Let me take a picture. Aldi thing. Okay. So I guess that's how they do it up here. And I never knew that because I normally walk in, grab what I'm going to get, and get out of there. So learn something new tonight. I hope I didn't offend that lady. And then when I when I discovered, it, I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. You need to get your quarterback." She was like, "That's okay. I guess I I guess I had mugged her for her basket." So anyway, catch me on the inside. All right, so I ended up getting like three packs of three things of oranges, uh, a ton of fruits and veggies. We're gonna have salad. We got kale. We got broccoli, tomatoes, carrots. Got some salsa off in there. Got two things of chips. Uh, that's my kale. Got three grapefruits. Got a thing of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, three pineapples. Got a thing of grapefruits. And one of my weaknesses, M&M's. Oh my gosh. Terrible, terrible. But anyway, this was a shopping excursion with Plant Based Homestead Prepper. And I did notice that the canned goods were very light tonight. It very, very light. So I'm going to go across the street and we'll see if they have a, I, I've been craving an apple pie. So I'm going to see if they have one across the street. So stay tuned. It won't be a new video. It's going to be the same. So stay tuned for bonus footage. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> so we are walking into another store like I promised you and we're going to go check out Kroger and I'm only gonna walk in here and get a pie and a and Jennifer some little fake vegan vegetarian we call them vegan chickens but vegetarian chicken so okay so I'll see you on the inside hi I'm Christina and you are watching plant-based homestead prepper subscribe 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 welcome to plant-based homestead prepper i am grim from grim survival where we talk about shtf scenarios food shortages things i see while driving this thing and solar minimums among many other things but back to your regular scheduled program cue the intro okay, so here where the last place i was at they had avocado for 69 cents up here three for five Four for five for the small ones. Three for five. Ew, wee. So, 
actually looking around, it's not looking too bad in here. Which, like I told you guys, I expect this um, as we get closer to Thanksgiving. I expect this. I see a couple little empty spaces. Red peppers are empty. Um, but I expect this leading up to Thanksgiving. I believe that we're gonna have we're gonna have plenty of food, and I think it's gonna be a little low. And then I believe that um, Christmas time we're gonna have plenty of food. And then I think about around the first of the year, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be something, to say the least. I believe so. I hope, listen, I hope I am wrong. I hope I'm wrong about that, okay? But I really believe, okay, so Jennifer likes these little doohickers right here. And they're not bad, so I might eat one. But I want, guac I want guacamole tonight. And I shouldn't be breaking my fast with guac. I'm looking at my can aisle. It's not looking that bad. They got some open spaces. Okay. Like I told you guys, this is in and out tonight. In and out. Condiment aisle. Um, bread. Let's check out the bread aisle. All right. So, open spaces, empty shelves, but that's pretty normal. And open spaces over here. And look at the sugar. Look at there. I know y'all think I know you think I be playing, but look at the sugar. Not joking. Huh? What you think? Empty spaces. Open shelves. Is what it is, guys. Is what it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go down here. We're going to go. Uh, I'm gonna get a pie. I don't know why I'm craving an apple pie, but Jennifer fixed one about two weeks ago and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna see if I can't replicate. Is that the right word? See if I can't find a, the same one. So um, there's your bonus footage and I will catch you guys on the next one, okay? Thank y'all for being here. Take care.